Seven one parabolas. Analyze and graph parabolas. Conic sections or conics are the figures formed when a plane intersects a double napped right cone. A double napped cone is two cones opposite each other and extending infinitely upward and downward. The four common conic sections that will be covered in this chapter are parabola, ellipse, circle, and hyperbola. You can cut a cone in four different ways. If you cut uh, horizontally and cut through both sides, you get a circle. If you go at an angle and cut through both sides, uh, then you get an ellipse. If you cut through the side and the bottom of a cone, you get a parabola. And then this is where you need the two cones. If you cut vertically through the two cones, you get a hyperbola. When the plane intersects the vertex of the cone, the figures formed are degenerate conics. A degenerate conic may be a point, a line, or two intersecting lines. The general form of the equations for conic sections is ax squared plus bxy plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero, where a, b, and c cannot all be zero. More specific algebra, algebraic forms for each type of conic will be addressed as they are introduced. Key concepts, standard form of equations for parabolas. We have x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k, where hk is the vertex, and this parabola will open up or down because x is being squared. This one, the vertex is still hk, in other words, x goes with x and y goes with y, but on this one, this will open up right and left because y is being squared. So here we have either a parabola opening up or down because x is being squared, or a parabola opening right or left because y is being squared. So there's your opens vertically, this one opens horizontally. The vertex on both of these is hk, x goes with x, y goes with y, so if uh, this number is with x, it goes in the x spot. If this number, the k, is with the y, it goes in the y spot. The focus is a distance of p from the vertex. So this distance right here represents a positive p, and then this focus right here, down from the vertex, that represents a negative p. Likewise, over here, this p would be positive, and this one goes from right to left, so that would be negative. The axis of symmetry cuts the graph in half. In this case, the axis of symmetry would be x equals something. And for a vertical or a horizontal parabola, it would be y equals. The directrix is a line that we use to graph a parabola. And it is on the opposite side of the vertex as the focus. So if the focus is above, the directrix is below. And likewise over here, and if uh, the focus is on the right side of the vertex, the directrix on the left. As a matter of fact, going uh, in a straight line, the focus, if, if the focus to is, is one to the right of the vertex, the directrix will be one to the left. So they're the same distance from the vertex. We also have what's called a lattice rectum. It's the absolute value of 4p. And it's the distance through the focus of two points on a parabola. So if the lattice rectum is 8, let's say, you'll go 4 to the right and 4 to the left. In this case, the lattice rectum would be a length of 4 because you're going 2 to the right and 2 to the left from the focus. For y minus 3 squared equals negative 8 times x plus 1, identify the vertex focus, axis of symmetry, and directrix, then graph the parabola. We'll, we'll, try, to, we'll try to graph as we go. The vertex is negative 1, 3. And we keep x with x, and we keep y with y, but we also do what's opposite in the parentheses. So if we have plus 1, then the x-coordinate will be negative 1. If we have minus 3, the y-coordinate for the vertex will be positive 3. Let's plot negative 1, 3. It's right there. Uh, so we have the vertex. Identify the focus. Well, look how if we have y minus k squared, 4p is sitting in front of x minus h. So this right here, the negative 8, negative 8 is equal to 4p. p now is equal to negative 2 when we divide by 4. That means the distance from the vertex to the focus is 2 units. And it's either 2 units down or 2 units to the left. 
since y is being squared, that means this parabola opens to the left or to the right. In this case, it's opening to the left. So the, the focus is over here at negative 3, 3, two units from the vertex. This is the vertex. This is the focus. The focus is negative 3, 3. The axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry cuts the parabola in half, and it's going to be on the same line with the focus and the vertex. So the axis of symmetry is y equals 3. The directrix. The directrix is on the opposite side of the vertex as the focus. So if the focus is two units away from the vertex, then the directrix will be two units away from the vertex on the other side. That means the directrix is x equals 2. We're going to use the lattice rectum to graph this, and that means the absolute value of 4p is equal to, in this case, uh, p is equal to uh, negative 2. So we have 4 times negative 2, absolute value. That means uh, the lattice rectum is 8, which means that there's a point, and actually there's two points on the parabola that are 4 units away from the focus. So we go up 1, 2, 3, 4 right here, and we go down 1, 2, 3, 4 right here. And those are two points that are on the parabola. So then we just kind of make a parabolic shape through those points. For x plus 1 squared equals negative 4 times y minus 2, identify the vertex, focus, axis of symmetry, and the directrix, then graph the parabola. Let's start with the vertex, negative 1, 2. x goes with x, y goes with y, and we'd always do opposite, that's in the parentheses. We have negative 1, 2, there's the vertex. Let's get the focus. To get the focus, we need p, so 4p is equal to negative 4 p is equal to negative 1. Since x is being squared, this will be 1 down from the vertex instead of 1 to the left because this parabola is going to open down. x is being squared. The focus is negative 1, 1. We need uh, axis of symmetry. That is going to be x equals negative 1. That's the line that cuts the parabola in half, and it's in line with the focus and the vertex. We need the directrix. Directrix is on the opposite side of the vertex as the focus. The focus is one down from the vertex, so the directrix will be one up from the vertex. The directrix is y equals 3, and we're graphing the parabola. So let's use the lattice rectum to do that. LR is the absolute value of 4P. That's equal to the absolute value of 4 times negative 1, which is 4. So uh, we need to go two units to the right and two units to the left of the vertex. And that one, no, no, excuse me, uh, two to the right and two to the left of the focus. And then here's the parabola right here. The cross section of the image of a constellation can be modeled by negative 12 times y minus 6 equals x squared, where x and y are measured in centimeters. What is the focal length of the cross section? Well, the focal length is the distance from the vertex to the focus, which is p. So negative 12 equals 4p. p now is equal to negative 3. So the focal length is 3 centimeters. Write x squared minus 8x minus y equals negative 18 in standard form. Identify the vertex, focus, axis of symmetry, and directrix. Then graph the parabola. We need to complete the square on the variable that's being squared. So x is being squared. We have x squared minus 8x plus something. We'll get this minus y to the other side, which is now y minus 18, and we still need plus something on that side. If you add something to one side, you've got to add it to the other side. To complete the square, we take b, which is 8, divide it by 2, and square it, which is 4 squared. So we're adding 16 to both sides.
Now the left side factors into x minus 4, x minus 4, so we'll write x minus 4 squared. And on the right side, we have y minus 2. The vertex is 4, 2. So let's plot that. 4, 2. 4p is equal to 1, so p is equal to 1 fourth. That's kind of tough to graph, 1 fourth. Uh, this, the x is being squared, so this is now going to open up, and we just need 1 fourth, so about right there. It's not very uh, far up. That means the focus is over at 2 comma, and then it's up 2 and 1 fourth. So that's the focus. We need axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry is at x equals 4, and we need the directrix. Directrix is, it, well, if the focus is up a fourth, then the directrix is going to be down one fourth. So the directrix is y equals, to get there we go up 1 and 3 fourths. So 1 and 3 fourths. And then uh, the lattice rectum is equal to, uh, well, it's equal to absolute value of 4 times p. p in this case was 1 fourth. That's equal to 1. So from the focus, we need to go a half to the right and a half to the left. And this is roughly what the parabola looks like. Write y squared plus 16x equals 55 minus 6y in standard form. Identify the vertex and all that stuff that we need to look at. Well, let's, uh, we need to complete the square on y. Let's see where I need some room. How about, I'm going to do it down over here. You can do it down at the bottom of your page or wherever uh, there's some white space. We have y squared, and I need plus 6y. I need to add the 6y, get that over with y, and I need to get that 16x over here. Plus something equals negative 16x plus 55 plus something. Well, we're going to take 6, which is the b right there, 6 divided by 2 and square it. That's 3 squared. That's 9. We're going to add 9 to both sides. We have y plus 3 squared equals negative 16x plus 64. Well, now I need y plus 3 squared equals negative 16 times x minus 4. Now we have the 4p sitting right there. We know the vertex is 4, 3. So let's look at the information. We have a vertex that is 4, excuse me, 4, negative 3. We have 4, negative 3 here. Uh, b is backwards. That's not 4, negative 3. And uh, c and d don't have 4, negative 3 as well. So it looks like the answer is A. Write that equation in standard form. Identify the vertex, focus, axis of symmetry, and directrix. Well, in order to complete the square on x, A, this 1 fourth, I have to turn that into a 1. So let's multiply everybody by negative 4. That'll be x squared minus 12x minus 24. So everybody gets multiplied by negative 4 so that the a is 1. Then I can complete the square. We have negative 4y plus 24 plus something is equal to x squared minus 12x plus something. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 squared is 36. We have 36. Now we have negative 4y plus 60 is equal to x minus 6 squared. And I can factor out a 4 over here, a negative 4 actually, and we have y minus 15 equals x minus 6 squared. The vertex is 6, 15. Uh, the focus is, well, it's going to be either 1 to the left or 1 down because we have... <clears throat> 4p is equal to negative 4, p equals negative 1. Well, since uh, x is being squared, this parabola opens down at 615. Somewhere up here, it opens down. There's the vertex. The focus will be 1 down. So that means it's going to be 614. Uh, the axis of symmetry...
is uh, x equals 6. Uh, we have the directrix is y equals, well, if this is down here at 14, then the directrix is up here at y equals 16.